Hi and welcome back to My Eco Buzz. I'm Jessica Gregory and in this Nature Snapshot episode, we're going to take a closer look at North America's largest resident rodent, the beaver. As a naturalist, I appreciate beavers because they're an important wildlife species all across the continent of North America. However, I also realize that they can be a nuisance and perhaps there are some misconceptions about them as a result. Most people who spot beavers in the wild see them while swimming with only their head and back rising above the water. So it's easy to understand how their true size is often underestimated. Average beavers weigh around 35 to 40 pounds and some have even been known to reach close to 100 pounds. They also have a round body, flat paddle-like tail, webbed feet, and large teeth that are orange in color. It's a rodent thing. Many people mistake muskrats for beavers, especially since they share the same habitat and rodent family tree. But muskrats are much smaller, weighing on average only five pounds compared to the beavers 35 to 40. Beavers and muskrats also differ in their choice of housing materials. Beavers utilize branches and logs, whereas muskrats mold their homes from mud and grass. Muskrats also have a long, skinny, rat-like tail, and they spend relatively little time on land, unlike beavers. Finally, whereas muskrats prefer the daylight hours, beavers are generally most active at night. Beavers are specially equipped to live in their watery habitats. They have nose and ear flaps to keep out the water, and even a second set of eyelids that function as built-in goggles. Their large lungs even allow them to remain underwater for up to 15 minutes. Finally, their fur is made up of an insulating layer to keep them warm and a waterproof layer of guard hairs on top. But beavers are most notoriously known for their building habits. Their lodges have special underwater entrances to protect from land-dwelling predators. And they're insulated so well that during the winter months, a family of beavers huddled together inside stays nice and toasty warm. Beavers also build dams, but it's not because they like having a swimming pool in their backyard. Beavers actually can't stand the sound of running water, as in a river or stream, so they instinctively build dams to quiet the noise. As a result, a pond is formed, a new ecosystem is created, and the entire hydrology of an area can be altered. But the trees beavers chew down also provide food for them. Large piles of branches and logs that have been chewed down are commonly visible outside of a beaver lodge, and this is their food cache. They love the sweet cambium layer beneath the outer bark of trees and branches. That holds all of the sugars produced by the leaves. And munching on trees all day long is helpful if you're a beaver and your teeth never stop growing. Beavers historically were hunted nearly to extinction in North America, but have since made a comeback. And while there are downsides to having a beaver in the neighborhood, like flooded farmland and yards, clogged culverts, and of course the loss of landscaped trees, they also bring a lot of good. Dams slow the flow of water, causing sediments to filter out. Plants that thrive in beaver ponds can also help to break down chemical pollutants, leaving the water cleaner going out of a beaver pond than going in. Beaver ponds create habitat for many different types of wildlife, including amphibians, reptiles, and waterfowl. Beavers are also known as a keystone species because of the great impact their presence has on other species. And perhaps most critical to human livelihoods and infrastructure is the natural flooding control provided by beaver ponds. These ponds are a major sink for excess water and can even help recharge groundwater aquifers. So when it comes to beavers, balance is the way to go. Beavers can certainly cause some harm but they can also do a lot of good and they should be considered as important members of the ecosystem. Thanks for joining me. If you found this video interesting or helpful in any way, please feel free to share it with the people you know. Until next time, happy naturing.